I can put my webcam on anybody, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. The next problem I'd like to do is show you um, how to graph the y when you're given the y-intercepts and when you're given the slope. Well, the first thing they ask is actually to put it in slope-intercept form. Remember, our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, right? Where m represents our slope, so I'd say y equals 3x plus my y-intercept, which is 10. All right? So there we go. We got that. Um, now, the next thing I want to do is I need to graph this. Now, guys, when we were given a graph, you guys did a very good job, or you still do a very good job, of finding the y-intercept. Because the y-intercept is pretty easy to find when you're thinking about it. It's just where does the graph cross this y-axis, right? Well, here, you need to create the y-intercept. So if I say the y-intercept is at 10, that means I need to go up 10 units and make a mark. So I'm going to go up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to make a nice little dot. That means my graph is going to cross at that point. <clears throat> That's where it intersects. Very, very good. Now, the next part is I need to use the slope. Now, here's where a lot of students get mixed up, Justin. It's a really big point, so listen to this one really carefully. A lot of students say, all right, Ms. McLogan, you said that slope was your change in y over change of x, right? Sometimes we call this the rise of a run, which we really haven't talked so much about yet. But it's just how much does a graph change up or down compared to how much does it change left or right, correct? Well, what happens if I just give you a number, it's 3? How do you write 3 as a fraction? Well, here's a little tip. Yeah, you can say 3 over 1 is the same thing as 3, right? So if I write my ratio, or if I'm writing my slope as 3 over 1, now I know what the change in y is over the change of x. So let's just put this over 1. So therefore, my slope now tells me to change my y units, my vertical units, 3, positive 3. So if it's positive, does that tell me to go up or down? Up. up. So I'm going to go up 3 units. 1, 2, 3. Then it says to change horizontally by one positive unit. Positive tells me to go to the right or the left? Right. right. So I'm going to go up three and then to the right one unit. So my slope takes me from one point to the next point. So since I have two points, you only need two points to make a line. Connect. And there you go. You got it. A beautiful, beautiful line. Perfect.